Last week in RV Life, we took you to Alexander Springs in the Ocala National Forest. And we solved a mystery too. We took advantage of one of those rare Florida rainy days and we pulled out the art materials. And this week, we answer some of your questions about what it's like to be full-time RVing with chronic health issues. And we were also treated to some real Southern hospitality. Have you ever been to a low country boil? And our friends take us boating to one of our new favorite places in Florida, right from our campsite. I'm Tammy and this is my husband, Scott. We are two artists who, when faced with mounting health challenges, decided life's way too short. So we sold our home and most of our stuff to move into a home on wheels. We are now in our second year in an even smaller RV and along with Gracie and Jasper, We've hit the road full time in search of new landscapes, experiences, and friends. We'd love to have you join us as we navigate our way through this RV lifestyle. And until further notice, our mission is explore, create, and inspire. Hi, everyone. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the RV. We're still in Florida. And we want to say thank you because Holy cow, we're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. 5,000 subscribers. There's that many people that want to watch us. That's amazing. That's what I'm saying. So thank you. Yeah, thanks for tagging along, everybody. If you've been following our journey, you might have seen mention or know a little bit about the fact that Scott and I both have chronic illnesses. So we thought we'd touch on that a moment for you because we've been getting some questions about what is it like to RV with health issues? How does that work for you? So. And we're really not unique. I mean, almost everybody we know has issues. Back when we decided to, to, to do this full-time RV thing, we didn't expect that we were suddenly going to be better. We're still dealing with the same problems we had before. It's just now we're dealing with it more under our own terms. When we lived in our house, we we're more focused on our pain. Our world revolved more around being sick, being in pain, and we didn't know quite how that would translate into our V life. So I think the difference is that because we're always seeing new things, it, I think it's helped us to be more active, be more excited about life, focus less on our pain, and more on getting out and experiencing life. That's right. And we can do it all from the comfort of our home on wheels. So when we don't feel good, we have our home with us, we have our bed with us, but our scene is always changing. But like Scott said, when you meet people out there, you're gonna start finding out that everyone has problems, everyone has stories, everyone has something going on, and we're not unique. So I guess what we're trying to let you know is, if we can do it, you can too. That's right. So, Live the best life you can with what you have, and that's what we're going to do today. We've been cooped up for like two weeks in this RV, so, yeah, so we're going to get out. So we've got three choices. We can either go that way towards the Atlantic, we can go that way towards the Gulf, or we can just hang out here in spring and river land and forest land in the center of the state. I think today we're going to head to the Atlantic coast. Got my cane, ready to go. There's the Young's winter cottage. They decided they preferred the riverside, not the ocean side, because they liked the hammocks, the trees. And I agree. I mean, I wouldn't mind a little winter cottage. this hill we're going up right now on the trail it is like an archaeological site it is mounds underneath our animal bones pottery and shell from the Native Americans who left it all here 
And so we're literally walking on top of history. Very cool. And they call it a midden, M-I-D-D-E-N. Do you feel the spirit of the Indian beneath your feet? I do. I do, definitely. This, if I was a Native American back in the day, I would have been living right here because you got the ocean right there. You got the river right here and it's just a beautiful spot. Gotta soak up the energy of the ancients when you're in here. So I would say this is a painter's paradise if a guy had enough confidence to bring his little painting box back here and make a plein air painting, this would be a good spot. You should do that. Yeah, maybe next year. <laughs> We'll take some pictures and you can paint a scene from it later. We are now in the formal garden section. They actually offer you to have weddings here. Wouldn't this be a beautiful spot? If you like historic gardens, definitely come check this out. And if you haven't seen, we did another video of the Ravine Garden State Park in Palatka, and that was pretty awesome too. All right, now we're gonna head over to the beach side and see if we can get a parking spot and check out these coquina, coquina. I don't know how to say it. Can you let me know how to say it, folks? The rocks on the beach. It's unique to this area. So let's go check it out. winding down here in north central Florida on the St. John's River. If you haven't come and checked out the old part of Florida, you gotta come. It's amazing. And the people are just as amazing. And today they've invited us to a low country boil. You know what a low country boil is, babe? What's it called? We're about to find out. I know it involves a big pot, boiling water, seasonings, crabs, veggies, and lots of fun. It's like they started without us. The garlic is the best part. And we tell them over and over and over again, take the red potatoes, smash them all up, put some butter on it, squeeze these bowls of garlic. Garlic, They pop out and they squeeze this liquid garlic. It's the best thing you've ever ate in your life. Yet yeah, no one does. <laughs> Some people suck the heads. I'm not a head sucker. But these right here are quite nice. They're quite big and you pull them like that and that's what you eat. Just a great time. Y'all missing out. Now we've made a lot of friends in the RV park. There's a lot of great people here and Gary and Sherry have invited us to go out on their little boat and cruise around this evening so we'll take you along and see what we can see. We're 
on the Oklawaha River, just up from our camp. It's beautiful. And right now we're, oh, there he goes. <laughs> we just startled the alligator. Fun. That was really, really a great time. We saw six gators total, lots of turtles and birds and fish, and we got to go fast on the way back. We went so fast coming down the Oklawaha. It was like we were in Flipper back when they had the airboat and they'd go flying through the swamp. That's what it felt like. It was we so were smooth. Flying down the river. Nice boat. That's a bass fishing boat. That was sweet. And Gary and Sherry, thank you. Yeah, thank you guys. That, that was, was amazing. Awesome. Ready to go find something to eat? Yeah. I've had five saltines and it's like four o'clock in the afternoon, so kind of hungry. That's good. And the Youngs owned the park until, you know, they died, I think, and <laughs> gave it to them. <laughs> You gotta have one of these paddles to move the lids when they're hot or in case somebody gets out of line. You know how you get a little hot. Bam! <laughs> 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 